This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Since the WWF. Next up, though, it's Trish and Lita. They're going to be taking on Tori Wilson and Stacy Keebler and um, <clears throat> double bra and panties match. They go five minutes and four seconds with Foley as the referee. Meltzer would say it was what you'd expect, mainly women tearing clothes off of each other. All four were in their bras when the WCW women had their pants taken off to lose. Uh, Keebler didn't seem happy about being in her bra. Match was long enough to where they actually tried some wrestling between the clothes ripping, and that was predictably awful. Of course, Trish and Lita were trained wrestlers, but I don't think Tori Wilson and Stacey Keebler did much wrestling in WCW. Was it important for you to have these ladies learn how to wrestle a match once they come over? Yeah, that's why we we had hired people like Jackie Moore and and Jazz and uh, uh, Ivory. Among others, you got, you had to have some people there that was, uh, going to help tutor and mentor play it forward type thing, but this is just a, let me up deal. Yeah. It was a, let me up as Vince likes to say, a let me up match. Uh, they were providing something that I think if I'm not mistaken, looking back at this Connor, that was the only female match on the card. Is it my, am I right on that one? Yeah. I think, I, I think we are. Uh, so. It was unique in that regard. And there was a lot, look, if you look, if you do play it forward, as is often said, you'll see that all four of those women had distinguished careers Yes. in the, in the company, but they needed, they just had to get their game together. And it's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done They're there. So, uh, anyway, I, I think, uh, I, I think that they, they did the let me up match about as good as they could. It was a little comedy, a little. It wasn't dramatic or wasn't, you know, a uh, car crash type thing, big bumps and things of that nature. <clears throat> so, uh, I think that just fulfill the role. It wasn't booked to be a show stealer. It was booked to give you a little, let me up entertainment. And I thought they did that because you can't find four sexier, uh, women in, in involved in a presentation at that time than, than those four. Now it's time for a main event, uh, in case you are keeping score, it's five to four WWF. Uh, but he, of course, we're, uh, trying to you do an angle here to set up splitting of the shows. And I believe the original idea is there would be a divorce between Vince and Linda. But in the meantime, that means, uh, Tori is going to be palling around with Vince McMahon on camera. I feel bad for Vince having to pretend to make out and be in love with Tori Wilson. It was a hard day at the office for the old man. Wasn't it? Yeah. It must've been challenging to show, to show any, uh, uh, affection toward the one of the most beautiful women in the world. Uh, and she was always a great team player too. She had to do some stuff as some ladies would probably stand on their own ego and say, oh, I can't, I'm not gonna, that's not me. Well, look, you're it's, uh, uh, a scenario she had, she was, she was cast in a fictional presentation. This is her role. This is how she was cast and casting is just another word for booking. So, uh, yeah, it was challenging, but there's where the writers could help, could influence Vince more Conrad, because that was more of their specialty than it was, uh, looking at matches and, and seeing how certain, uh, uh, talents could pair up with another talent and equal a great match and put, and put that on television. They weren't, a lot of them weren't comfortable doing that. They had no experience, but a lot of them had experience and just, uh, the, the, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of the word, but they just had the, they had, they, they had more familiarity with that sort of angle than they did with putting a wrestling program together. So it's like the Pat Patterson used to be a funny guy and had, had love the humor, the ha ha's you, you, you've heard everybody say. But you know, he, he's the kind of guy and we had others that could put a wrestling match together and they could see talents and how they worked and use that knowledge and that, that observance to put the right guys with the right guys so they could produce a good match. So that's everybody was playing to their strengths and, you know, no matter what anybody says, and this is not a knock on Vince or anybody else, but the bottom line is everybody there was trying to appease Vince and they still are. I would think, why wouldn't you? He's the head honcho. And, and this has got to be such a challenging time for the company. I mean, really, 
let's just briefly run through this. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.